know, my uploads have been really inconsistent recently. Uh, I've been very busy and um, my health has not been great and uh, I'm on a half term at the moment but I'm trying to revise my A-levels. So everything's been a little bit stressful. So yeah. So I posted on Instagram and was like, what videos do you guys want me to make? Because I'm gonna make some. Um, and a couple of people suggested that I did BuzzFeed quizzes. And so I was like, right, I'm gonna take some Harry Potter BuzzFeed quizzes because this will be entertaining. Um, I know look, like our generation just seems to like just take BuzzFeed quizzes to help you decide on life and stuff. I never really part partook much in that, but I've, I feel like I've been missing out all this time. I was scrolling through BuzzFeed looking for, for cool quizzes. So I'm gonna take a few Harry Potter themed ones and see what happens. And hopefully it will be entertaining. This one should be interesting. How much of a Potterhead are you actually? It's time to find out how much of a super fan you really are. Um, so let's see if I'm actually a fan of Harry Potter, guys. This is the real test right now. If I fail this, then I just give up. I just sell all my merch and just, just leave. First things first, have you read the books? They've given you, nope. I've read them a few of the, a few of them, but I couldn't get through the whole series and um, duh, why else would I be taking this quiz? So I'm gonna go for um, duh, why else would I be taking this quiz? Next question, how many times? No times, I just told you that. Only once, I'm not a big rereader. I've read the whole series two or three times. I read through the series every time a new book came out. I literally have no idea at this point because I've read them so many times. That last one is my answer to that question. How many copies of the books do you own? None. I think I may have one or two of them hanging around somewhere. I have one of each. Should I have more? Two of each. One set for show and one that I actually read. I have all the books in paperback, hardback and collector's editions and foreign language editions and dot dot dot. That last one is me. I have uh, several original copies of the sets of the books. I also have the new paperback in, uh, series in its entirety. I have the first two in Spanish, the first two in uh, Italian and a American edition of, first edition of Goblet of Fire and then a bunch of other random different covered paperback UK versions. When a new book came out, you did nothing, bought it when I saw it in the shop, pre-ordered it, pre-ordered it and went to a midnight release party, pre-ordered it and went to a midnight release party dressed as my favourite character. Unfortunately, as the books were coming out, I was rather a young and uh, I think the last book came out when I was 11 or 12, so I wasn't allowed to go to the midnight releases. My mum, I think, went to go and get the book at midnight a couple of times, but she didn't let me go with her. So on this one, I'm just going to have to click on pre pre-ordered it, but uh, but uh, so that makes me feel a bit guilty, but I, it wasn't out of my control. Have you seen the films? Nope. I think I saw one of them once when it was on TV. I've seen a few of them, but I don't really get the hype. Yes, I've seen them all. Of course, I've seen them countless of times and I can quote them by heart. Yeah, I think my obvious is, my answers at this point are rather obvious, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. The new film came out, you, again, I did nothing. Waited for it to come out in DVD, cinema tickets are expensive. Went to see it at the cinema, of course. Saw it on opening night, saw it at a midnight screening. Saw it at midnight screening dressed as my favourite character. Now, this is a tricky one because my actual answer isn't listed in this uh, handy selection here. Um, I, when the films came out, I wasn't allowed to go to the midnight releases because I was still pretty young and in school. But I did um, dress up. My whole family, we'd all go, like, on the week it came out and, um... And we'd, we'd, I'd all, I was always dressed up as Hermione and stuff, so there's that. Have you ever been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? <sighs> the options are, no, I don't want to. No, but I want to more than anything in the world. Yes, but it kind of sucked. Yes, and it was the best day of my life. And yes, I've been multiple times. As much as I would love to say, yes, I've been multiple times and Wizarding World was amazing. Best day of my life. I've never been to Wizarding World because I have never been to America. I have not uh, left Europe ever. I've, I've got, been in Europe travelled some places but never been to America yet. I'm planning on going one day, so my answer to this one is no, but I want you more than anything in the world because I literally do. Now here's a better, uh, better suited question. Have you ever been to the Warner Brothers studio tour in London? The options are no, I have no interest in it. No, but I'll go as soon as I can get there. Yes, but it wasn't that great to be honest. Yes, it was the best experience and yes, I've been more than once. Yes, I have been five times now, I think. I haven't been, it's literally been just over a year now. Um, this time last year I'd been and then I went to Naples and uh, yeah, so I'm really sad about that because I haven't been in a really long time now So I need to get my shit together and go again because I miss it. You visited Platform 9 three quarters at Kings Cross Station The options are why would I ever want to visit a train station? No, not yet, but I will go one day Yep, and yes, I have a picture pushing the, the trolley through the barrier. Yes, I do. I go to Kings Cross uh, pff, Okay, like on a, on, a, on a good run, I go probably about once a week because I'm always up in London and whenever I'm whenever I'm passing through, if I'm I've got uh, if I'm just got some time to kill, I always just go and chill there because it's really cool. And if you ever get a chance to go to London, I'd definitely go. They've just extended the gift shop and it's really awesome. How much Harry Potter merchandise do you own? Literally none. I just have the books. I think I have a Hogwarts scarf around here somewhere. So much. My home is literally covered in it. I think. 
think that one applies to me. Uh, they're pretty much covered in other few pieces, you know. You know what Hogwarts house you're in? Nope. I know what house I'd like to be in, but it's obviously not real, is it? I took a quiz once on Pottermore. Duh, and I'm proud. Yes, of course, and I also sort all of my friends and acquaintances when I well know them well enough. Uh, that last one is me. I literally s saw everyone I know. I I've always known that I've been in Gryffindor. A lot of people ask me, a lot of people comment or, or message me on Instagram and say, how did you know what house you're in? Did you wait till you got it on Pottermore? Since I was tiny, I've always uh, identified with Gryffindor, although a lot of my personality traits uh, would lean towards Ravenclaw as well. However, when I took my Pottermore quiz when I was on the, the better of... of um, Baltimore when it was first uh, created, I've always been a Gryffindor. On some of the new uh, <laughs> sortings, I did like five different accounts this time, and I think three out of the times I was a Gryffindor and the other two I was a Ravenclaw, so it is a split, but um, I know my heart belongs in Gryffindor, so. Have you ever attended LeakyCon or similar Potter convention? Um, Marks, this is no, I've never been. Uh, I really want to, I tend to go to, I've been, I go to co like conventions and stuff, I go to LFCC and MCM and stuff, but I've never been to a Harry Potter one yet, because I just, I haven't got round to it, and I really need to sort that out, because I feel like a bit of a failure. So anyway, I got 94% Potterhead, and I'm... I mean, that's fine. It says, wow, you're a Potter fan through and through. You've read all the books multiple, multiple times, can quote along with the films flawlessly. And everyone knows you for your love for Harry Potter knowledge. You may actually feel like J.B. J.K. Rowling herself. Um, that's fine. And I'm offended that I'm not 100% Potterhead, but, you know, I'm just going to have to roll with it because clearly I'm not dedicated enough to the Potter universe to, to be considered a Harry Potter 100%. I'm just going to... So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please keep leaving me video suggestions because... I have a brain that sometimes can't think of things to do, even if I really want to make a video. So just keep suggesting me stuff, because that's always a grand time. And um, go check out my Instagram. My Instagram is in the description, probably. Uh, at Books for Laura. Get on that. Um, I post Harry Potter photos, which are sometimes fun. Anyways, 